Hi and welcome to yet another video about the exciting topic of domains and Route 53. This time I'll show you how to add a custom domain to an API gateway. For this video there are some prerequisites. For instance, you need a domain certificate which you can create using AWS Certificate Manager. You also need a Route 53 hosted zone. If you haven't, go ahead and watch my previous video about registering your domain and certificate. Since you are watching this video, I guess you already know why you want a custom domain for your API gateway. But I'll just give you a simple example as to why that could be a good idea. As I have shown you in previous videos about API gateways, we get a random generated domain or URL when we are deploying an API gateway. But uh, this URL is not that readable and for sure not easy to remember. Then it would be a good idea to have a simple custom domain that is easy to read and remember. Another big advantage, maybe the most important one, is that you can easily reroute traffic to another resource or API if you need to do some maintenance without the need for the client application to update the URL they are using to reach your API. Also, if you for some reason need to delete the API and recreate it, then it could still be reachable using the same URL and not a random generated one. Okay, so how do we actually do this? To start with, I'll just give you a quick walkthrough of the API gateway I'll be using for this demo. I have created an API gateway called YouTube, as you can see over here. By the way, if you want to know how to create an AWS HTTP API gateway, as I have here, watch the video linked above. Inside this API gateway, under integrations, you can see that I have one integration at the root path of this API. The integration is a lambda function, and if we open it and take a look at the code, you can see that this returns a redirect response to my YouTube page. Now you know how this API is configured, if we go back to the API gateway, and hit the generated URL you can find here, you'll be redirected to my YouTube page. So this is working as intended, but it's not a very user-friendly URL. So let's add a custom one so that we don't need to see this ugly one anymore. On the left hand side, click on custom domain names. Click create and now type in your domain. I have already a root domain which I want to use, so this is going to be a subdomain to that one. I'll call it YouTube dot and then the root domain. When it comes to TLS, I'll use the version 1.2 since that's the latest one and also the recommended version. You can enable mutual TLS authentication if you want. This will require that the client authenticates itself with its own certificate. This is common for Internet of Things devices and business to business applications. I will not enable this though, since I want the endpoint to be publicly accessible for everyone. Next up is the endpoint configuration. We need to decide if we want our endpoint to be of type regional or edge optimized. By the way, Edge Optimized is only available for API gateways of type REST. Regional endpoints are optimized to reduce latency when API requests originate from the same region as your API. An Edge Optimized endpoint is best for geographically distributed requests. API requests are then routed to the nearest CloudFront Point of Presence or POP. We also need to select an ACM certificate to go along with our custom domain. The region the certificate is created in will have an impact here. For instance, if you choose a regional endpoint, then the ACM certificate need to be located in the same region as your API. 
If you, on the other hand, choose an edge-optimized endpoint, then the certificate must be located in the US East 1 region. The reason for this is that AWS will create a hidden CloudFront distribution for your API when attaching a custom domain to it. And if you remember from the previous video, ACM certificates associated with a CloudFront distribution must be located in the US East 1 region. You can see that in effect if we choose regional, then I can use the certificate I have created in this region, which we did in the previous video, but if I choose edge optimized, then there is no certificate available. I'll choose a regional endpoint for this demo, then I'll be able to make use of the certificate I have created in my current region. Next, hit create domain name. Now that a custom domain is created, we need to attach it to an API gateway. Go over to API Mapping, click Configure API Mappings, and add new mapping. Here you'll select your API, then the stage you want to attach, as well as an optional path. Lastly, hit Save. Before we continue, if you find my videos interesting and want to learn more about serverless and AWS, please consider subscribing to my channel and smash that bell icon to get notified when I publish more content. Ok, the API is now attached to our domain, but we still need to create a record for it in our Route 53 hosted zone. Go over to Route 53 and Hosted Zones. If you don't already have one, watch my previous video where I create a hosted zone and an SSL certificate for our domain. Open the hosted zone and click Create Record. If you created a subdomain as I did, add the subdomain under a record name. The record type we'll choose is Type A. This lets us add an alias to our API gateway which leads us to the connection to the API gateway itself. Under value, you can type in IP addresses, but Route 53 also lets us use aliases. This makes it so much easier to connect to other AWS services. To do this, just toggle alias, choose service, which in our case is API gateway, choose the region where the API gateway is located, and then the gateway itself. You can choose different routing policies, but for simplicity, I'll use simple routing. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to read more about the different routing policies, but uh, simply said, you can route traffic to different hosted zone records based on criteria such as geolocation, latency, failover, etc. Lastly, hit create record. It can take some time before the endpoint is available if you recently have created a root domain or certificate. So just have some patience with it. Now let's test if this works as intended. I'll copy the URL, go over to another web browser window, paste it in, and yay, we got redirected to YouTube. In the next video, I'll see if I can make a solution to auto-rotate keys in AWS Secrets Manager. Until next time, happy coding!